the most underestimated leadership skill. The most underestimated leadership skill is optimistic leadership. And that is the capability or is the ability to be able to instill hope in others. A lot of times we think about delegation and we think about setting the vision and we think about all these leadership skills and yes, they all are important, but in difficult times, in a pandemic, during the crazy year of 2020, is there any more leadership skill that's more valuable than capability to instill hope in others? In other words, to be able to motivate them, to help them focus is important, but if they don't have hope for a brighter future or in terms of what could be or can be possible, does it really, does all this other stuff even really matter because your team's not gonna go along with you if they're not hopeful, right? Or at least they're not gonna be fully dedicated to that. So, what do you do to have optimistic leadership and then be able to instill hope in others? Well, number one, you gotta be able to instill hope in yourself because if you're not hopeful, it's gonna be really hard to instill hope in other people. <laughs> That's the first thing. So, find a little hope for yourself. Take a longer term view identify the opportunity. Then, after you're modeling that, after you're feeling more hopeful, then you start having these conversations with your team, you start role modeling for others, you start inserting hope in your emails about the opportunity. So in a crisis, right, or a big challenge, why not start thinking about, hey, what opportunity could this crisis represent? Yeah, what, what's the opportunity? It's so easy to forget to ask ourselves this question, but we start asking it of ourselves and we start thinking about it, it sure is a lot easier to start asking it of other people. Also, help them take a longer term view. I've been talking a lot about this in videos, but taking a longer term view helps you understand the long arc of history and that, hey, things may be challenging now, but they've been challenging many, many times, right? Uh, and also nature's been around a very long time. We're, we're just here for a little bit of time. And when you start putting it in the magnitude of history, they don't, things don't seem quite so insurmountable. And the third thing is when you start thinking about opportunity, it's just the key, key element is just to prioritize it. So in your conversations with yourself and others, start thinking about optimism. And then again, begin to go develop this leadership trait for yourself so you can go start to use it with others.